Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Leroy back, Nomeo Shaves here with another shaving video. As you can see from the background and the angle, I am not at home, I'm on the road. I had mentioned in my last video that I'll be heading out to um, Portland, Oregon this week and that's where I'm at. The reason for the awkward angle is that I forgot my, my mount that I usually use to uh, record my videos. So I just jerry rigged something together and that's why the mount's all jacked up. So I apologize for that. Today's shave is going to be kind of something pretty exciting. Um, it's uh, You can probably tell from the, from the thumbnail what I'm going to be using. But I have never traveled with one of these. And now I have the means to do it. Uh, thanks to a very good friend of mine. But uh, this is what I will be using in tonight's shave. Let me try to focus on this bad boy. Oop. I'm probably not going to focus on it. But it's okay. So this is a real Kamasori. Not a shave at this time. But a real Japanese Kamasori. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now I... I do not read kanji i do not read japanese so i do apologize for not being able to translate this for you but i can assure you it's the real deal ah, i wish you could focus i'm so sorry well son of a bitch it's okay but um so i do not know who honed this uh so pardon me it's the last time that I used, so I've, I've got three of these now, and and the last time that I used one, uh, I got it at the same time as this one, and the same person honed those two Kamasori razors, so, or Kamasoris. So I do not know who it was. The last one went pretty well, so I thought I would just travel with this one. See, as you can see, it's got no wrapping on the handle. It's just it's bare bones jacket, bare bones. So we're gonna see how this goes. I did strop this. Um, let me show you my strop really quick before I get into the shave. Now, when I bought some of those uh, gold dollars, they all came with strops. This is them. It's a uh, maybe two inch strop. I don't know if this is real leather, but I think it, it'll work for a travel strop. Um, it's got a nice little canvas back here. Um, it, I think it'll work pretty good. You know, there's, there's not, I mean, it's soft, it's supple. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if it's real leather. Maybe it is, who knows, it's China. They do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? But unfortunately, it, the way they pack it, it's folded. So it's got these like kind of creases in there. So those had me kind of worried when I, uh, so I can just see the creases there. See that? Let's see, made one of the little, I, so they kind of had me worried when I was stropping it. I stropped slow, I didn't go, I don't do that shit yet. But, um, so I, I just did it nice and slow, you know, mostly I did, what, 10 laps on the canvas side, on this, this side here, right, because that's, that's where the main cutting edge is, and then a couple on this side, and then I went for 20 on the, the leather side, just like I did with my last straight razor shave, so we'll see how it goes. Um, this, this also came with, like, a little, um, vial of oil i think it's oil it smells like oil you know but i haven't used it yet so i don't know but it, it's it's a cool little strop and, and like i said I, I think it'll do and i think this will do really well for the common stories because it, it just fits just right i mean look at that perfect fit perfect let me set that bed boy down put this bed boy down i've got my little tissues here so i can kind of wipe off the the soap and stuff speaking of soap what am i using tonight Okay, you guys can see from the uh, the thumbnail. But I'm going with menthol or uh, Sterling's Iced Pineapple. I love this scent. I really, really, really do. Um, I'm sort of batting, what, like 700 on this right now. So the very, very first time that I used this, I really did get it. I, I got a burning sensation from it right in this area right here. And it sucked. Um, so I just kind of gave up on it. And then when I was in Germany... Uh, very, very kind gentleman, Reno, who actually subscribes to my channel, um, Daily Shaver on Instagram. 
he actually piffed this to me. And I used it in Germany with a synthetic brush and it worked awesome. I had no issues with it. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. So I'm kind of doing a little test tonight. I apologize for the for the rambling on. But I'm doing a little test tonight. I'm going to be using this the Parasso board brush with this soap. So we will see if I get any irritation. Oh, gosh, I sure hope not. Um, post shave, I've got my tr trusty mentholated um, uh, witch hazel right here, which is Humphrey's witch hazel. Just the organic. Uh, it's got some alcohol in it. It's just a standard version. No, no scents added to it or anything like that. And I have Osage Rub because it matches and I like menthol. This is Menthol Monday. And I got the Sensitive 501. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the AC just kicked on. Apologize. All right. Let me, uh, my hair is going to start falling all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this bloom water on my face so I can get this lather going and hopefully have a nice shave tonight. It's been blooming for probably 15 minutes. So the water is actually nice and cold. Just got out of the shower. You know, some people, they talk about they prep with a uh, hot towel. But I, 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 I tend not to. Uh, I, pardon me. I uh, don't think I'm, I, I haven't tried a hot towel yet. So I'm a little leery on trying it. I found something that works for me, which is basically just have a shower. Um, I do, so normally at home, I use Yardley. Uh, and then when I get in the shower, I actually work up some lather of Yardley in my face and I rub it in my beard. I let it soak while I'm washing the rest of my body. And then I wash it out. Then I wash my face with my normal face wash. Um, and, it, and it's been working really well for me. So that's what I normally do. But I did, excuse me, I didn't bring any Yardley with me this time. I'm only here for three, four days. So I, I do have a, a, a bar of L'Occitan that I got from a hotel in Taiwan a while ago. So I'm using that. So I did the same prep. We'll see. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. We'll see. All right. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Slick. All right, so. So I, oops, shoot. I hope everybody had a really fantastic weekend. This is Monday night, in case you haven't figured it out. Menthol Monday. But I, so I hope you all had a great, great weekend. Um, I, I my, my weekend was actually pretty good. You know, not, not too bad, I can't complain. We went on Sunday. Sunday, we uh, everybody was off. Nobody had to work. My wife, my daughter. Of course, my younger daughter didn't have any school. But uh, so we all went and got our Christmas tree. Gosh, that was a blast. My older daughter, she's only been, been in the U.S. for uh, just over two years now. So she hasn't had a chance to go get a, a real Christmas tree. Back in the Philippines, they only have a, a fake tree. So we thought... You know what? The younger daughter had a chance to go out, cut down a tree. So now it was her turn. So, so we went and we took her to one of the tree farms out in here in Cali or out there in California, and uh, let her. <laughs> she tried to cut it down, but she couldn't. Um, so you know, she stuck. Oh, I. All right, I started the line for her, so she knew where to cut. Um, <laughs> she got a couple swipes, and she wasn't making any progress. So, so I just took over and I just cut the rest of the tree down, but it was a blast. It was so much fun And she she really she really did enjoy. She's 22 years old, you know, but I mean Come on. That's, that's, that's a really fun experience You know, I was talking with I was chatting with another friend and when I was a kid We used to do that all the time. That's what we did. We went out into the real forest and we cut down trees, you know For Christmas. It, it was so much fun. I, I, I miss those days. You know, I was also mentioning how I, I missed the smell of a chainsaw. Um, and it was just... 
I, I don't know how many of you have ever been on cha been around chainsaws and stuff like that in the winter time, but gosh, there's something about the cold and the snow and the ice and and the, the smell of the chainsaw, and the, the, the burnt fuel. Uh, I was just, I uh, just childhood memories, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this stuff on. Let's see. So I'm just doing cool water, not cold. Just try to give my whiskers some, every chance, you know, to soften up and have a good shave. Well, this, uh, this sink doesn't hold the water. I engage the stopper, but it's not working. All right, so just a little update. Small tingle in the goatee area but nothing like my very very first experience knock on wood more water so luckily today was actually a pretty light day i mean, oh, i woke up at three in the morning but Luckily, I didn't have to go to the customer side. I just went in to verify that my badge still worked, which it does. So I don't have to waste any time on paperwork and stuff like that just to make sure I can get into the area where the tool is. Oh my gosh, Sterling makes a beautiful leather. Look at this. Oh, I can add more water easily. Just add some water to the leather that's here already. Nice. You want more water? I just painted it. Yeah, yeah, like that. So I've got... Uh, man, look at this. It's a mess. What was I going to say? Oh, so my last shave was Saturday. So that's what, uh, two days of growth. My hands are slick. Oh my gosh, I got leather all over the place. Let's see here. <laughs> all right, I got it in my hair. Let's see here. All right, so now the sink decides to stop water. Not when I needed it. All right, so I had mentioned that this razor does not have any wrapping so it might be a little tricky to hold so okay here we go guys so again my oh this is new vember uh this is new to the dan new to the channel i have not used it yet my very 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 first time and i mean i've used this but it's uh, you know we have a lot of soaps so they're all technically neglected but so neglected november November. Here we go. Hope you guys can't hear the TV. Wow. 
Nice, very, very, very nice. No scales to worry about, no pins. Hmm. Little puggy around the bear. That's the hard part for me. It seems like it's just right in the bear area. Damn, these are fun to use. If you're a straight razor shaver and you ever get the chance to try Kamasori, just try it. These are, something about these is just so much fun. If anything, just the nostalgia of it, you know? Sharper hose. It's tough. Pretty tough. Apologies for being quiet. But, um, this razor is actually really comfortable in the hand. It's really nice. Real nice. God, this is so much fun. I apologize. All right, let's see here. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but do you guys remember An Anvil Avril Levine? I guess she's on the voice right now. That's what I have on.
you know, I hope I can learn to uh, at least do some maintenance on uh, my straights because I'm I'm really starting to get into this. I, I've the past couple shaves. I mean, I've, I've had some really good ones, right? And uh, <laughs> had some bad ones too. But I'm I'm really starting to like the the feel for it, you know, and just kind of kind of sort of what they represent. Like, oh, this is really old school. I mean, it's before DE, right? I mean, this is the kind of shaving they used, you know, two, three hundred years ago. I don't know, just really fun. And, you know, I've mentioned before how much I'm into the Japanese culture. All right, let me, uh, all right, it's a little dry. So let me rinse off. Cool water rinse. I have to add some more water, I think, to make my wet my lather a bit wetter. Okay, let's see here. Small water, a couple drops. Nice. Love sterling. Gosh, I love sterling. You know, it's crazy how many great artisans there are out there right now. You, I mean, you can basically just close your eyes, pick one, and it, you'll get a good lather out of it, right? But I mean, you know, when you start, I think, when you start bringing cost into the factor versus performance, Sterling really does hold their own. Poche feel is fine. You know, granted, I know some of the scents, they, they, they will use fragrance oils instead of essential oils, which it keeps the cost down, right? But and so, so, unfortunately, some people can have a reaction to those. Um, I'm one of them. You know, the synthetic sandalwood. In some formulas, really gets me, but it's okay. Ooh, I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch um, SoCal's, uh, one of his most recent shades with the uh, uh, Kamasori from Russell Barton, the his Raven Kamasori. I feel bad for, uh, for Manny, man. He just could not use it. He said it was honed with or finished off with the um, Arkansas Gray, which tends to be a, from what I understand, a smoother, a little slightly less sharp edge, but smoother. And Manny's uh, growth just wasn't good for him.
you know, it's so frustrating when you know somebody that they can do really, really good work, you know, but just your beard growth just does not jive, you know, it's, it's frustrating, it's very frustrating. It's happened to me on a couple edges, you know, so I really feel Manny, or I, I know what he's going through. Let me see here. This is the lock to hold with no, uh, no wrapping. I want to roll in the hand. Skipping a bit right there. Let's see here. Get the hair out of the way. Jill always, always gives me shit for my hair. <laughs> Damn, 28 minutes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> nice. Very, very, very nice. thickness. I should send one of these to Russell to see how his edges feel on it. I worry because I mean, with the asymmetrical asymmetrical grind, it's a different, you know, honing technique versus Western Western chemistries or Western, pardon me, Western uh, grind. But Russell really knows what the hell he's doing, so I shouldn't worry. Too bad. A little rough spot right there. A little rough, rough patch. And then... Oh, I did get, nick myself. Damn. Son of a bitch. Try to 
clean under the neck a little bit. I got lather all over the place. You have no idea. Hey, if you're still hanging on with me, I appreciate it. I know this is one of my longer shaves, but... But it's, it's, it's been fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I mean, how many people shave with a commissory? Let me get in the frame here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, hold on. A little bit more. A little bit more. This is the uh, inverted pass. Iceman does it. The shark does it. Can't see. Man, this is a beautiful shave. I'm in, digging this shave. <laughs> we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> oh man, this is so much freaking fun. I love it. I love it. Cold water. And it's off a little bit here. Just, you know, the rest of the lather. Not the DS, but damn fine. Damn fine. So it'll give me a chance to uh, shave again in two days. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I've noticed with my shavettes and straights. I don't get as close as I can with a D, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not the kind of person who typically needs a BBS shave. It's nice, don't get me wrong. Still there? Okay. Maybe it's not, this is cold. Sorry about that, I kept bumping the um, camera stand. <laughs> Alright, let me closer so you guys can see me. Alright, so, yeah, you got a weeper right there, but it's okay. No big deal. No big deal. The water here is so soft. Which is it? So, I can't tell if I have the... Uh, all of the soap off my hands. <laughs> it's weird. Ah, oh, that was a fun shave. Gosh, that was a, I'm, I'm in a mess. Oh my gosh. Good thing I'm in a hotel and my wife's not around. <laughs> Sorry, I had to toss that one into the uh, the tub there. It was just way too, way too wet. Right. Yeah, I got a nice little, good little weeper right there, but... Unfortunately, I did not bring my boo-boo juice. So it's going to have to bleed for a little while.
Sorry. Oh, I got myself really good right there. It's okay. Oh, sorry, Rob. Menthol Monday. Here we go. Full effect. What am I doing? Why did I put it all over my face? Hardly any burn. Hardly any. So from the soap, I had a very slight, you know, reaction to the to the goatee area, but nothing, nothing like the very, very, very first time that I used this soap. So I'm I'm really excited about that. That just kind of proves that over time, you can get used to a soap or your skin can change enough to where it'll work. So, I mean, or over time you get, you get in a reaction to a soap, like what happens to Chris Madden. Kind of, kind of often. <laughs> All right. That was a fantastic shave. I do apologize for the length. Um, I think I only spent maybe five or six minutes talking this time in the beginning, maybe more. Um, but I, I do appreciate you guys watching. And if those of you that hung, hung around to the end, thank you so much. Um, this bed boy was so much fun to use. I, I, I do need a sharper edge on it, unfortunately. So I need to try to do some research and see who can put a, a sharper edge on it. Maybe Russell can do it. I need to hit him up and see, see, uh, you know, just kind of get a feel for what his confidence level is. Well, I think it stopped bleeding. Now it's just all red. So, so yeah, but, but man, this is an awesome shaver. I, so I've got three of these now, right? One has a really big head and that one, I think I fucked up the edge on that one. It is what it is, right? But, but that one has a high, it seemed like, it seemed like that one had a higher learning curve or a steeper learning curve than this one to use. And the, the one I used before, the one I had before had white wrapping around the handle here and it just, it's more comfortable to hold. This one's a little bit tricky because when you want to, kind of hold it, it it wants to pivot in your thumb like that so especially since you know i'm not left-handed it does it a bit more with my left hand but that's okay it, it was fun to use I, I dig it god dang i love it i mean i i don't have oh it says damn it's <laughs> bleeding a little bit more but uh i i mean i had a good shave i would definitely go to a meeting with this shave so it did what it's supposed to do i love it. oh shoot what about this stuff right here? <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I put this stuff on. I love it. I haven't used it for a long time, a very long time. I only tend to use this stuff when I travel. I've got other stuff at home. It's okay. All right. Well, hey, thanks again for joining me, everybody. Let me do a quick little recap. Soap was the Sterling's. Iced pineapple, oh my god, this is a fantastic scent. I love it. I really, really, really love it. I'm going to have to ask him if he can do this in Glacial sometime. Razor, ah, oh, this thing is beautiful. This is a vintage Camasori. Like I said, I do not know when it was made. This thing could be 20 years old. It could be 60 years old, so I don't know. But it's awesome. It's got plenty of meat on it yet, so... You know who you are. Thank you for this, man. I really, really appreciate it. Osage Rub. Got to touch, finish off the Menthol Monday with some good kick-ass menthol. And my Parasol Bore Brush. I love this freaking brush. Um, I've been chatting with some people, and I think you might guys might be seeing this a bit more on the channel. Just so I can burn through some soaps. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Um, I had a fantastic shave. I loved it really really good um this thing will stop bleeding eventually but hey thanks again i apologize for the length of the video don't i hope you didn't tune out <laughs> i hope you stuck with me to the end if you did thank you guys if you didn't i totally understand okay everybody i gotta cut this off uh it's been 40 minutes that's long enough i apologize for the angle uh but as always guys please whatever you guys do do not text and drive i hope you had a fantastic weekend hope you got some awesome shaving gear and this is Leroy signing off from Portland, Oregon. Until next time, as always, please do not text and drive. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.